Hello humans, Leon here. I am three weeks on testosterone now and before any more changes happen or like nothing has really happened physically yet that you can see. Some things have happened but I'm going to like go into depth in that next week for my one month on testosterone video. But for now, before changes come like with my voice and everything, I wanted to make a how to deepen your voice pretty. Because I have deepened my voice pretty if you want to give it a listen. So that's me with my apartment for now. Only, is it? Two more weeks actually because I'm going to London for one week and then yeah so goodbye to this shithole. <laughs> so that was me like six months or so before I came out and obviously a lot has changed now in three weeks nothing has really changed so I'm thinking this is a good time to do it before like changes actually happen and I can still I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but obviously my voice is going to get deeper now that I'm on testosterone. So let's just get into it. I do want to make a disclaimer though. Obviously it might not like work for everyone. It depends on how much you practice. If you are good at taking care of your voice and like not over practicing, practicing too much and straining your vocal cords because you do have to be careful. So that's like another thing. You have to be careful not to strain your vocal cords too much because then obviously you're going to fuck up your voice uh, or you might, <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going to happen if you put too much stress on your vocal cords, but obviously you have to put some stress on your vocal cords in order to make them change. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm a bit anxious about making this video because I feel like Okay, so this is what worked for me, but it might not work for you guys and I don't want to like leave you hanging there with a squeaky voice or something. I don't want to ruin your voices, but this worked for me, so like take that into consideration when you start doing these things. Yes, I know I'm doing like a lot of like arm waving right now, but I'm a bit like isolation isn't good for me. <laughs> also, I'm anxious about making this video, but let's get into it. So the first like exercise I've done is because obviously it's difficult to start talking lower just out from nowhere uh, and then just jump into it, jump into the deep end. So instead I did vocals. Vocals? Yeah. So A, E, I, hold up, uh, O. So like do uh, and like see how first of all like try to go from your regular level like ah uh, this is my regular level now and then like go up so ah uh, and then down and then try to see like how far far can you go how low can you go and then when you start to feel like sort of a rumble in your chest you know that okay so this is where where I might be able to go when you start using proper words and not just vocals. What I'm trying to say is that you should try to speak from your chest or at least the bottom part of your throat because biologically female people, when you haven't like hit puberty like, through testosterone, you're going to speak from this part of your throat here, whereas testosterone makes you speak from like lower part of your throat and your chest, which is the rumble I'm talking about, but I forgot to mention. So yeah, try to speak from here instead of up here and make kind of like a mental shift and that's going to help a lot as well the mental shift in making your voice lower by focusing it further down actually i used a lot of theater practices when trying to like learn how to speak lower in order to pass better uh, obviously this is a video for trans people who want to speak lower so probably like trans masculine envies and trans guys um yeah, I didn't mention that, but obviously that's probably why you are here. Uh, so that's one exercise and I found it really helpful because it sort of let me know, okay, so what is my range? And then I can sort of go from there. And after doing all the vocals, I would try like shorter words like yes, no. And I try to yes, 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 yes. And as you start feeling that rumble in your chest, try to speak maybe like a sentence. But obviously you might get tired after a while, especially in the beginning when speaking lower. So like take breaks and you, you just do this for like five minutes and then later in the day, like try it again. So like don't stop trying, you have to do it every day and be consistent. And uh, honestly, like making this whole video shorter, uh, I could just stop it there because that's essentially what I did. So yeah, we don't have to make this video even longer than it has to be. You know, just that's my tip for you guys. Start with vocals, then go over to like shorter words. And then like when you listen to TV programs, this is another thing like 
for making the video longer, obviously, for those of you who want me to talk on forever, because I could, of course, if I wanted to. Um, when you listen or watch TV shows on Netflix, etc., uh, or HBO, if you know your Game of Thrones fan, go and like watch a show that you love and try to mimic the way that they speak like the guys obviously if you are transmasculine and try to go as low as them and because also the way that we use like intonation or whatever that might differ a bit as well and the way that we i don't know i feel like there's something to it so just try to copy the way that guys say things in tv shows and movies because um i think it's worked for me at least there's something mentally going on when you try to copy how a guy speak and then eventually it just becomes something you do. At least, for example, in Norwegian I have, well, where I'm from there's this one dialect and but now recently or like the last few, last half year, like the last six months, I've copied my best friend's accent. She's from like mid-north of Norway. Yes, you know, listen to other people speak and then try to copy them. Obviously, when you're around people, try to speak lower. I What really helped me was moving to like a boarding school because then I had to like share a room with a guy and I was like piss scared of not passing. When I say pass, I didn't like keep it a secret from him because when we got to know each other at the beginning of the year, we well, I got talking about my YouTube channel and obviously it came up naturally sort of that I'm transgender then, but I didn't want to be seen as the transgender roommate. I just wanted to be seen as a regular guy who's his roommate. So the tip here is basically like, imagine having a cis guy as your roommate constantly around you in the room with you, even if you are alone, because that it will sort of put that mental stress on you to pass that's at least what i wanted to do i wanted to pass and just be a regular guy even though he just saw me as gay um when we first met which is sort of funny so he did see me as cis when we first met but still i wanted to make that change constantly because he had friends over and i wanted to pass for their sake as well to be more comfortable myself and especially when like he would get visitors or like, friends coming to our room i would be like hey. yeah i would be so anxious of talking you know because my voice at that point was pretty low still listen to this i have one appointment in november on the 13th of november i think and then on the 16th of december so that was like at the end of august around that time when i started at school and now obviously in april yeah we're in the beginning of april now uh school year is over because of the lockdown and everything uh so yeah, but my voice has obviously changed because I was sort of forced to speak lower every single day because I wanted to pass. So it comes back to like being consistent, just like when you work out and everything, you have to be consistent, do it every day and like try to challenge yourself regularly. I will, there's this app called Voice Pitch Analyzer where you can, it was actually designed for like trans women, but obviously as a trans guy, you can use it too. Uh, so this is like my result right here. I've gotten lower and then you can just see see your progress i guess but yeah that's it uh if i come up with any more tips i guess i will just have to make part two uh but yeah take care stay safe eat food drink water get some sleep and uh, i will see you later heathens actually next week on my one month on testosterone that's that's something i'm so grateful bye